Should we go Ben Hogan? Yeah, why not? Try and do a quick. Yeah, me. So quick Hogan. Two minutes on Ben Hogan. Well, I'll go back to what I said earlier is I, what I saw in him that I, and I put some videos on YouTube, Ben Hogan swing take nine, 15, whatever. What I was really trying to do, it wasn't that I was trying to make my swing look like his per se. I wanted to have, I wanted to get the essence of what I saw in his motion, which is what I, it sent me down the road of this idea of a free swinging club. Because I looked at him and I thought, that guy is not controlling that golf club, where it goes, he's just swinging it. So how is he able to play golf when he's not managing the club? Because at that time I was managing the hell out of the club. So I went out and played golf and threw the club around me very freely and I hit some really nice shots, but I hit some really loose ones. And then that was where I learned that if I counterbalanced it and kept myself in one spot, then it could be as free as it liked and it would always return to where I had built it to return to. So that's what I learned from him that I think, you know, is probably, you know, I don't know how he figured that out. <coughs> what do you but mean, uh, he know, did. If I hadn't had him there, I would not have had um, the opportunity. I wouldn't have gone there. It's the purity of his learning, of his learning, mm. you know, was not instructed, amazing, unbelievable work ethic, obviously yeah. a load of talent, yeah. but he, he moved in that direction and that's why, and, and it's just amazing to think about the way that it's been analysed and the way that it's been broken down and mm. all of these guys look at like the, the intricate yeah. movements right. and, that, and yeah. because it's so, because it is such an intricate thing, they even argue about what the intricate movements are. Yes, and if you exactly. set up a Ben Hogan forum, there'd just be massive disagreements. Yeah. And, it's and I couldn't get involved in those discussions because I was looking at it from a t completely different perspective. So most people just thought that I was crazy and I was okay with that. You know, I was happy to be in the crazy box if that's where they wanted to put me. Mm. But I think that the biggest thing, the biggest thing that we can take out of, I, I love using his words because there's two things, I want to say two Ben Hogan quotes that relate to why I teach what I teach. One is he said that if you want a child to learn how to open a door, you don't show the child the open door and say, see, there it is. You show them how to open the door. So it's going back to what's coming versus I'm going to fix what just happened. So working on what just happened and improving that in every minute detail is like trying to make the open door look pretty. You know, what I want to do is get into the meat of it and what makes a good swing tick so that I know that swing's coming. And the second one is, he said, there isn't enough daylight, there's not enough hours in the day for me to practice all the shots I want to hit. He didn't say he needed to practice his swing all day and therefore there wasn't enough daylight. He had his swing, he had his motion. There wasn't enough time for him, as he saw it, to work on all the shots. So for him to work on a shot, he might stand this way and think that he's going to hit that fade. He just wanted to really dial that in because he knew he had his motion, I'm sure. So it's a game of shots, it's not a game of swings. And we want to work on how a good swing is developed, not manage every part of what is a swing that should really be seen as one thing uh, and break that down into pieces. I think that's what we should learn from him the most.